trees that mimic the full size plant but are super finicky. Mm, so listen up before you start pruning your bonsai. Dina Kupfer joins us live with more tips on what you need to know because I, I have tried to prune and I just made a mess. So I just Good. don't even do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Courtney? I'm just impressed that you correctly said bonsai. And I, and I hope that our Good Day viewers have learned that that is correctly how you pronounce this word. It is not what you normally would say bonsai. Bonsai is the proper pronunciation. And we're talking about these beautiful small trees in pots. That is what bonsai means. And so we're here at, uh, this is called the Dirty Locust. This is in Citrus Heights. This is a backyard, beautiful bonsai garden. And it's also just live art everywhere. Lots of succulents. It's a gorgeous space, very tranquil. And the reason why we're here is because Ron Anderson and his wife Kelly have created this beautiful space here. Bonsai is a specific type of tree in a pot, but they're not easy to take care of. <laughs> they can be. You just got to learn the steps. Yes. Okay. Yes. So what I want to show you right now uh -huh. is if you look at the bottom of these branches, yes. right? Bend down a little bit. Uh -huh. There's nothing on the bottoms. Right. Right. Clean bottom. So yes. as this tree starts to grow, they get a little bit entangled and um, beyond what the structure should be. Right. We're going to work on this tree right now. Okay. So earlier you said when a when a tree is in a pot like this, it's just bonsai bonsai, ma bonsai material, material until it's in a bonsai pot. Ah. Exactly. Okay. okay. So how do we properly prune this? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bottoms here. Okay. Okay. We're going to take these right here and anything that's on the bottom of ah. the branch because in nature, the wind comes along. Right, snow comes along and it snaps everything off of the bottom or cleans it uh -huh. because as the sun starts to hit, it's like a solar panel, then these start to grow upward. Uh -huh. Right, so eventually, as these trees are all trained, every one of these bottoms uh -huh. will be completely clean. Wow, and that's this what we're is. We're going to do right now. Okay, so as he cleans, you'll also notice the wiring because that's another really important part. Yes. You are training this tree to think differently. Correct, we're training it to think. Um, like a full-size tree. We want to make it look like an old tree and by you adding wire you give it life and structure and movement. Without that movement it would just be a straight tree like maybe a tree in a nursery. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is so neat. All right, we're going to put much more information on how you can get a hold of Ron and his wife Kelly on our website. Again, it is called The Dirty Locust. They're here in Citrus Heights. He is an instructor, a certified bonsai instructor, so he will give you lessons. He, he also knows what he's about. has different classes for people. It is amazing. It's really amazing and it's very tranquil. Even if you are just somebody who wants to come out and be a little bit in nature and have that zen moment here with the bonsai, you can come check it out here in Citrus Heights. Back to you. All right, Dina, thank you. you. Thanks, Ron. Well, forget the bounce hat.